What's going on everyone, College Lefty, and in this video I have for you guys a game of Ranked Seasons. I'm going to be making Goose Gossage debut. This is going to be the squad that we're rocking with in this video. We have uh, Cunha in left field, Carlos Gomez in center, Stanton. We have Hanley Ramirez gold card as a new shortstop, and then Cody Bellinger is playing first base as well. Everything is remaining the same except for Goose Gossage is in the bullpen and will be uh, first in relief in this next Ranked Seasons game. So, so far I am 16-2 and, and I'm going up against the God Squad. My current rating is 695, and this guy's got an amazing team. Kenny Lofton, Mookie Betts, his creative player at an 89 catcher. J.D. Martinez, Francisco Lindor, Jose Ramirez, Jason Giambi, Jacoby Ellsbury, and then Chris Sale on the mound. So definitely a good overall team. And uh, we're starting off this game with a line out with Carlos Gomez to right field. That's unfortunate, but I squared that one up. I mean, that wasn't the correct feedback on the left side of the screen, but I did square that last one up with Gomez, and I... I wasn't able to get anything going. I wish I would have been able to start off the game with the leadoff double into the right center field gap. That would have been awesome. But one, two, three in the first, and then the opponent is starting off the inning with a jam base hit. That's going to turn into extra bases with 98 speed. Nobody's able to pick up the ball out there. But the opponent does get a little greedy and try to advance to third base. The clip kind of kind of glitched out right there, but I was able to tag him out, trying to retreat back to second base. Got him in a little bit of a pickle. And then to end the inning, I was able to get the strikeout on the curveball low and away uh, now we have Stanton up uh, top of the second inning we have Stanton up leading off the inning and that's going to be sent out for a no doubt solo shot a slider over the middle of the plate I pulled it over the green monster that's uh, Stanton's first home run in a little bit and first home run of this game so far and then uh, very next batter Ronald Acuna sends one out that's going to be a back-to-back -back home runs a uh, dead center on a pitch over the middle of the plate that was indeed a fastball and uh then Jonathan Scope is going to line one to center field as well. I was just really starting to hit the ball a lot better in this inning. Started to square it up. That one, the PCI was slightly off of it. But there's the first at bat with uh, Gold Hanley Ramirez, the shortstop version. And I got that card through the uh, XP reward path and unlocking the gold, the gold choice packs along the way. I did, I did indeed select that Gold Jose or Jose Ramirez, Hanley Ramirez, because I wanted to uh, focus on getting a guy, a good guy with speed out there. I didn't really have a guy that wasn't affected by inside edge. The only other shortstops I have is Trevor Story and Carlos Correa. They weren't affected positively by inside edge. So I just went ahead and put a new guy out there pretty much in that Hanley Ramirez. I wanted to try him out anyway. Definitely a good overall contact hitter. But uh, now we have Cody Bellinger up at the plate, ripping a base hit through the four hole, extending the inning there. That, that was with two outs. That's going to bring up uh, the creative player in Pablo Sanchez. And I thought I got all this one. It's back at the track to the wall. And Kenny Lofton is going to be able to make the play there. He, he ran it down. I could tell by his animation that he was tracking that one down. Kenny Lofton is an absolute beast out there in center field. He doesn't have the best arm. But he has the most range, I think, out of any center fielder. Unless you have Willie Mays out there. So definitely a solid card to have uh, with that speed, reaction, and defense. But there Stan is sending another no-doubt home run. Pulling it over the green monster as well for a second home run of the game. Putting us up 3 nothing, and that brings up uh, Gold Hanley Ramirez, and he's going to pull one. Even though he's a contact hitter, I got under that one, and I launched it off of the green monster. 91 speed is going to be able to get into second base there with a double. And we still have two outs in the inning with Matt Chapman up, and he's going to hit a no-doubt home run. That's going to be pulled over the monster on a middle-away pitch. It was a slider that did hang over the plate, and I pulled it. A little bit early uh, swing there and centered it up and sent it out. So that's going to be a two-run shot. Very next inning for the opponent he's starting this inning off with a double shooting that one into the right center field gap that's going to be Mookie Betts and I threw that one right over the middle of the plate I had this gold Blake Snell on the mound he's very good very effective left-handed pitcher but there I just threw back-to-back -back pitches right over the middle of the plate as you saw two two balls put in play hit really really hard and I thought I was trying I mean I thought I was going to be able to get him at the plate there with Stanton's arm but unfortunate, wasn't able to do so. I went ahead and brought in Goose Gossage, and he, his first pitch, he's getting a double play. This card's an absolute beast. I went with a uh, change up there for the double play, and then now I'm going with the slurve, and he's going to break his bat, hit it to the catcher. Pablo Sanchez is making the play there, 93 arm strength, throwing him out. So now we have Carlos Gomez up once again, and he, he left Chris Sale in, even though he's given up a few runs. It's 5-0. I've... I was all over Chris Sale in this one, but he left him in. I pulled that one off of the green monster. It hits J.D. Martinez in the face, but he is able to field the ball. He was, he did stay in the game. He wasn't hurt or anything like that, but I have seen some people get hurt uh, from taking the line drives off the head or, you know, hard hit balls off the face or whatnot. But anyway, 
Uh, Pablo Sanchez is sending one deep. That's going to be caught. He went ahead and walked Josh Donaldson. I brought Josh Donaldson in as a pinch hitter uh, to, face the, to face the lefty Chris Sale. And Stanton is sending another one deep. That is going to be his third home run of the game. Giancarlo Stanton with a multi-homer game, a three-homer game with five RBIs so far and two solo shots and then that three-run homer. And Jonathan Scope's not done. He's, he's sending a base hit, extending the inning a little bit further. And that's going to bring up Matt Chapman at the bottom of my order. Actually, Han Hanley Ramirez and then Matt Chapman. So I'm looking to ex keep extending this inning. I'm going with an extra base hit into the right center field gap. And uh, the only reason I didn't know what my order was was because I just recently put that Hanley in. I recently mixed up the lineup just a tad. But I have to, and that's what I've been doing. I've been trying to play with as many players as I can. Still use a good team in ranked seasons, but also use some of the different players that I haven't necessarily seen or some guys that I think could possibly be good that I want to try out. But uh, in the second inning of work, Goose has given up a leadoff base hit. I just threw that slurve over the middle of the plate. I had an 0-2 count, and I should have thrown a pitch that was a little bit better. But we have another 0-2 count with Justin Turner up to, up to the plate, and uh, I threw a sinker inside. He sends it just a flare into right field there. Stanton is unable to get there, obviously. I mean, that one was a blooper from the beginning. Scope wasn't going to be able to make that play. He doesn't have enough speed to get there. And then uh, this play is kind of weird. I thought nobody was going to catch this one. I thought they were both going to overrun the ball. But Carlos Gomez does get behind that one. And almost I am able to almost throw that guy out at third base. But uh, definitely if Scope receives that throw rather than Hanley Ramirez, I think he might have been gunned down. But he is going to be able to get the sack fly. Carlos Gomez is unable to uh, get this ball in in time to throw 76 speed out. There's just no way. Jose Ramirez is too fast. And uh, that brings up. Kenny Lofton, once again, he's going to hit a flare into center field, left center field, and Carlos Gomez is tracking that one down. So definitely, uh, after the first game of using that Carlos Gomez, I've been able to field the ball much better. Uh, later on in the game, the opponent is sending one to left field there, and uh, Acuna is going to be able to make the play. Now we're moving to the top of the seventh inning, up 8-2. to two. Created player up at the plate in Pablo Sanchez, and he's going to, I power swung on that one, sent it out into uh, left center field. I just got under it, and Hit it well. That's Billy Hamilton's create, uh, swing on my created player. Everything default. And now he went ahead and uh, drilled Giancarlo Stanton. Didn't want any part of him after a three home run game. And then later on in the inning, of course, I did hit, hit into a double play. So I did bail him out a little bit. I had a chance to break the game even open even more. But it is an 8-2 to, eight to two game. I did go to uh, some good bullpen arms in Goose and Jose LeClaire in this one so I figured I'd be able to close this one out and now we have Chris Sale on the mound in the eighth inning he does send one out off the wall and I mean it's just kind of crazy this guy's using Chris Sale as a starter I used the one in, in relief and then he's getting hit hard a little bit but I was able to uh, pitch a few innings with this Chris Sale and get some outs we're in the bottom of the eighth now with two outs ten pitches in he's gonna hit a base knock up the middle with JD that's gonna score another run making it an eight to three game so still has a chance in this one up by five I am still feeling confident I need only uh, four outs left to get in this game. And now I threw one right over the middle of the plate, a two-seamer. But Lindor is going to ground out to Scope there to end the inning. Now I'm looking to expand my lead. I mean, I'm up by up by five runs here. No lead is safe. He left in his uh, position player to pitch. I'm not quite sure. He left him in the previous inning too, and I just hit some balls right to his fielders. I swung at some pitches outside the zone. Whenever I see a PCI like that a facing a position player, I'm thinking to myself, I can try to hit anything, and then I end up popping up or grounding out. But Stanton is not going to be denied. He's ripping another base hit, so he's 4 for 4 with 6 RBIs, 3 runs scored, and 3 home runs in this game. Definitely had himself a ball game, the best one yet so far from uh, Giancarlo Stanton anyway so far for me. But uh, then Acuna is going to join the hit parade and send one into left field, a fastball. I don't know why he would throw a fastball to Acuna. He has that quirk, and he's with the position player. But he did go ahead and bring in Araldis Chapman, and then as soon as he did, I lined one off the green monster for an extra base hit. I am going to be able to come around and score with Acuna. I wasn't going to go right away, but then he threw it to second. I noticed his, cre uh, his player was loading up to throw to second, so I went for it. Later on in the inning, uh, Matt Chapman up at the plate, sending one into center field. He went ahead and dove for that, so that's going to be extra bases as well. Kenny Lofton wasn't able to track that one down. But Matt Chapman with 69 speed, I'm going all the way. I figured why not? It's 12 to 3 already. If I get another one, it'll make it 13 to 3, and I'll be up by 10 going into the bottom of the ninth. But I got thrown out at the plate. It is what it is. I had my pitcher up on deck next. I wasn't going to take him out because uh, I didn't want to use anybody else in this game. I wanted to just see if I could close it out with uh, 
with Chris Sale and as I throw a pitch right over the middle of the plate. He lines it out to center field. That's going to be the first out of the ninth inning. The first out's always the biggest. I mean, it really puts a damper on his comeback. If he is a, trying to hit, trying to hit and make a comeback in this one, there he's kind of bunt dancing. So definitely uh, a sign of conceding the game, in my opinion. I don't really know how he's, he's going to be able to hit while he's squaring around a bunt like that. But nonetheless, two outs in this one with Jacoby Ellsbury up at the plate. I'm trying to jam him. Hopefully he doesn't get another jam base hit flare. But he is going to flare one into center field. And Hanley Ramirez is going to make that grab for the third out of the game. So I do get the dub for that one. Move up almost to a level 38 within the program. Player uh, player of the game is Giancarlo Stain with three home runs. Like I said before, four for four with six RBIs and uh, three runs scored as well. But uh, we move up to 722. I went ahead and uh, unlocked the pack for DS and I got the bat skin. And that's pretty much it. You get the bat skin and the banner. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'm College Lefty and peace out.